Alright, welcome out to another episode of Drake's Dungeon. I am Drake, and it is HTML5 week. Uh, the beta launched this last uh, Thursday, and uh, you guys have been awesome taking part in it and giving us a lot of great feedback, reporting a lot of bugs. So, uh, in, and really, and just to, to bring it all together, I wanted to bring Nick's eye back for this episode, as he's been one of the engineers that's been hard at work on uh, not only bringing HTML5 to you all, but is also working on getting as many bugs fixed, it, uh, fixed as quickly as possible. Uh, so, Nick's eye, welcome back. Thank you. Hey, uh, so we did it. We've, we, got, we got the beta out there. <laughs> we did it. Uh, we, we got it out there. Um, obviously as betas go, uh, you know, when you put out a beta, you're expecting bugs. It's, it's a thing that you actually kind of hope for so that, you know, so, so people can kind of catch a lot of things that you were unable to catch. So we're definitely seeing that right now. Um, you know, how, how are things going generally from identifying a lot of these bugs on your end? Uh, it's going quite well. Um, like you said, we've had, uh, we've had our QA team hammering away at this for, for the you know months now. Um, and we sorted out all of the biggest things before we uh, even made it public. Um, but as betas are, right, it's, it's uh, you're throwing it out to, to a lot more users. You got thousands of people looking at it all day. Um, you know, you find a lot of stuff that uh, you just can't catch when you have, you know, a limited number of people. You know, we expected it. We planned for it. Um, you know, we made sure Flash would still be available uh, while we go through this beta. So we're not just, you know, pushing it live for everybody right away. People have the ability to switch back and forth if they run into anything that causes problems for them, which makes it a little easier. But yeah, we, uh, community's been great. Um, players have been reporting everything that they find from, you know, text changes to, um, you know, we, we've had a few issues with uh, the server because we did do... Um, we did make some changes on the back end as well while we were at it. And uh, we did find right after we released uh, HTML5 that there, there were some issues with it. Got those sorted out. We, we put out a hot fix right away. Um, and we've just been cranking through it. And that, that hot fix was to address the, the red box errors that people were getting? Uh, the red box errors we're, we're looking into still. Um, I know some people are having that issue. Uh, the, the, the hot fix was for the battle server. We did have, um, a crash that occurred in, um, one odd circumstance, uh, but we've got that sorted out and, you know, we're taking note of everything that people are bringing up on discord and the forums, uh, making sure we prioritize them based on, you know, which things, uh, have the most negative effect. Fortunately, there hasn't been anything major, you know, we, we caught a lot of stuff before we ever brought it out. So most of the issues are super minor. Yeah, you know, and and you you definitely bring up a good point. Like for the last couple months, engineers and our QA team have been hammering away at this tirelessly. We had a, a very small select playtest group um, of, of players that also engaged with it for about two weeks. But then when you bring it over to live, there's always going to be those things that you never had in any of the test environments that. You know, more players being on it, playing it is going to give different reactions. So, yeah, there's there, we're, we're certainly seeing things that we never saw in testing. Uh, some things that people are reporting we, we did see. So we're definitely uh, getting a better idea on how those work now. Uh, but, yeah, we're, we're able to make a lot of great progress over these last just couple of days alone with so many more uh, people playing it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and the other thing is that, like, you know, when, when we're staring at it every day, Right, we have we have our view of the game, but whenever you give it to someone else, uh, they have all kinds of different ways of interacting with the game that just we just don't do on a regular basis. Right, there's um, every player has their own play style, and it and it leads to a lot of interactions that you wouldn't expect, um, and that's what we see now. So let's let's talk about some of the bugs that that. Uh... Players are reporting a little bit and kind of give a little update. Like we said, the red box errors are still being looked into. Another another big one that people are reporting is uh, having a black screen while they're trying to load the game. We're seeing that clearing the cache sometimes works, but we're actually also seeing that this might have a weird coincidence to do with a lot of browsers discontinuing Flash this week that we did not know about. It could potentially be an issue with the browser no longer supporting Flash. Uh, which might be giving some players those issues. Uh, regardless, it is still something that we are looking into. 
and uh, are working on on trying to figure out if there's anything we can do to help on our end. Some play, some players are getting a currency error message when logging in. That is something that we are also looking into. Some of the issues that we've already fixed, uh, players seeing uh, uh, bunkers and drones shows empty after going to the world map and returning to the base. So that will actually be fixed with uh, this week's update. Uh, offer pop-ups that uh, show incorrectly, they're kind of broken. Uh, the offer pop-ups, th- that should hopefully be uh, fixed with this week's update. Uh, yeah. Units with designs not showing in the workshop. Uh, so a lot of players are reporting workshop issues that the designs aren't showing correctly. Uh, that should also be fixed with this week's update. Uh, yeah. The armory pop-up may also be fixed this week, correct? Yes, it should be. And uh, like you said, with you know part of the reason we wanted to get this beta out sooner rather than later, uh, instead of waiting to the end of the year, officially Flash is no longer supported at the end of the year. But uh, Chrome, Firefox, and some of the other ones have been, you know, they, for a while now, kind of making it harder and harder to to access Flash. You know, at first it was, you know, they popped up a message saying, "Hey, Flash isn't going to be supported. Do you want to turn it on?" And then we're like, "Yes, you turn it on." And then they made it so that it uh, pretended that you didn't have it installed. And when you click the install link, it would just enable it. Uh, you know, they've they've been kind of pushing in that direction. So that's why we wanted to get it out with time to spare. And you know, like you said, it's, that's what's happening now. They're just they're they're pushing it a little bit further. They're making it a little bit harder to access. So uh, I'm glad we got it out when we did. Yeah, you know, definitely uh, make sure that Flash uh, on your particular browser. You might want to look up to see how to make sure Flash is enabled and see if that helps you. I mean, like I said, though, ultimately we are still looking into it and see if there's anything we can do on our end. But yeah, we're kind of getting to that that deadline where a lot of browsers are just going to stop using it and are really pushing to to disable it. We have a bunch of other bugs that we have logged because you guys have been reporting uh, some stuff through the Discord channel as well as through the forums. So there's still plenty of other bugs that we are currently looking into that I didn't mention, but I just wanted to make sure that the the big ones that uh, are certainly affecting players more are, are I'm letting you guys know they are being looked into and that uh, we've certainly already started chipping away at a lot of the bugs that have uh, been reported. Likely, for the next couple episodes of Drake's Dungeon, we will probably have at least a a portion of it, if not the whole thing, just centered around giving you another update about HTML5 and where we're at with the process. Uh, Over the next few months is going to be really critical for our team to be able to Get as much stuff fixed and ready for you guys as possible. So uh, we definitely want to keep you in the loop on everything that we're doing because by the end of the year, we want this game to be an HTML5 game and not a Flash game. So, yeah, it's it's a lot. Exactly. Yeah, Yeah. it's uh, it's it's been quite an effort. Um, and and I just have to say again, uh, you know, the guys that we've had working on on the port for for months now have been doing a fantastic job. Um, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, uh, a couple of them worked on the, the, the battle pirates port, um, you know, and it's, it's a long process and, and they've handled it amazingly. It's, uh, this one I think has gone, um, quicker and smoother just based on what they've learned from the previous experience of, of battle pirates. Um, they've, they've made some improvements to the tools all around. It's been a fantastic job. It's, you know, this, this is Absolutely. a huge undertaking. Uh, you know, this code base is, Absolutely. you know, it's been around for 10 years and it's huge. It, it, there's a lot of code that, that had to be worked with. Porting a live internet game is like a browser game. I mean, just that in itself is a huge task. And so, you know, we just have to thank everybody who's participated so far in, in the beta test. Keep sticking with us. We know that some of these bugs can be a little annoying. And if they are, causing you a lot of trouble you can always go back to the flash version and maybe check back in with the html5 version a little bit later but just keep giving it a try keep reporting bugs and we're going to keep working on them so uh, we can hopefully get this uh, to the the product that we want it to be as soon as possible uh any other last notes nick Sai? No, I'd just like to say thanks for the community for um, <clears throat> for sticking with us, uh, you know, helping us find any issues that are remaining and hammering them out. Um, we really appreciate your support, and uh, we're going to keep working hard to make sure we get it to where it needs to be. 
Absolutely. Uh, if you have not checked with this most recent gear store update, you can now get the aggressor and all the aggressor tech uh, through the gear store. So if you missed out on that during the event, uh, this is going to be your chance to get caught up on that. And we're going to be having our capstone event coming up next week with uh, your chance to finally unlock Akiko, the newest mercenary hero so a lot of great stuff coming up besides all the stuff with html5 so uh hopefully you guys are going to have a, a good month of october in the game and we'll be back next month with another episode of drake's dungeon thank you bye